close your eyes and bring your attention to the breath. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. You can start with some good long, deep in and out breaths to emphasize the breath, to make it clear. And then ask yourself, does long breathing feel good? And if it does, you keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try to get in touch with what the body needs in terms of the breath right now. Because the breath is free medicine. Without it, of course, we would die. That only stands to reason that this force of life, if you look after it, if it feels good, you pay attention to it, it can do a lot for the body and do a lot for the mind. It's healthy for the body and gives the mind a place to stay. You can be in the present moment with a sense of well-being and not have to go searching outside. Our society is getting more and more so that we don't really have any time to spend with our own minds. We're constantly invaded by other people's opinions. And we see ourselves in, in their eyes, basically. We're always concerned about how we look to them, which is really uncertain because you can't get into their eyes to see. So we're living in uncertainties. And as for things that we could be certain about, in other words, the st state of our own minds, we're pretty ignorant. So it's time to settle down in the present moment and get to know your own mind. And we do that first by centering it on the breath. As you ask yourself, well, focus on your mind, you don't know where you'd focus. It's like saying focus on space. And there's no one point where you can focus on space. So focus on the breath, focus on the sensation of the breathing in the body. And you'll find that a lot of the mind will gather around that and begin to see the little movements inside the mind, what it's doing, where it wants to go, and how the mind is like a committee. There are lots of opinions in here. And if you're not careful, some of the wrong opinions can get into your actions, shape your life. So you're going to be at the spot where the opinions and the decisions are being made. So you can see who you can trust, who you can't trust. And this way you get to know yourself. When you know yourself, you have some more, more control over yourself. You're not simply acting on impulse or acting on whatever random voice comes through your mind. You're acting deliberately. You see that something is good and you, want, you go for it. You see something is really not good in the long term and you do, learn how to talk yourself out of it. Because we do have to sort through the mind. It's not going to sort itself out. So to sort it out clearly, you want to be here steadily. Make this your home. Make this the place where you feel that you belong, here in the present moment, not someplace else with somebody else. You're here with yourself, because that's where all the important choices in your life are being made. And if you're here with a sense of well-being, a sense of solidity, a sense of belonging here, you're a lot more likely to make the right choices. So get to know this spot well. It can become your home. And that way you know yourself. And when you know yourself, a lot of the issues in life can get resolved right there. 